Hey everybody, welcome back. So I have a, I guess vlog, I don't know what you want to call it. I just thought I would let everybody know in case some people haven't noticed. And it's so funny because some people already noticed right away. I did deactivate my Facebook account. Um, I didn't delete it, but I need a break from it. And so I did deactivate it. And I am planning on coming back to Facebook. It's just right now, it is not a good time for me to be on Facebook. I am the type of person, or I just am the way I am, I have a hard time um, resisting things. I have an addictive personality, you know, like I like to shop and I like to buy things and I like to do this and I like to do that and I, I just get really, uh, and I'm nosy. I'm fully admit that I'm nosy. So I like to, you know, when I'm on my Facebook, I'm always constantly checking. I'm checking Facebook all the time. Um, throughout the day, I check it multiple times. Sometimes I'm on it for a really long time. and. There are a lot of times, even when things aren't going on in our society, uh, when everything is just normal, that I think to myself, I spend way too much time on Facebook. I waste a lot of time. It's time I could be doing something more constructive. You know, I don't, I'm not saying that it's bad to be on Facebook. I'm not saying that it's, you know, wrong to do that. I, I don't mean that at all. But um, I was just kind of finding myself spending more time on there than I thought what I was comfortable with. And a lot of that came about during the pandemic, like when it first started, because we were home all the time and I was checking Facebook constantly. I was using it as a news source, um, which is not a responsible thing to do, I don't think. Um, but I fully admit that's pretty much primarily what I was doing. I was using it as a news source. And then it just kind of got where I was really just spending a significant amount of time on Facebook. And then things um, happened that are going on right now with uh, George Floyd's murder. And I say that because I do feel it was murder, absolutely 100%. Um, and then began the protesting and the rioting and the looting and the violence and the clashing of so many people uh, against each other. And um, it just exploded. And <sighs> I was reading everything and I was seeing everything and I was feeling everything and it's not good for my mental health I don't think I was finding myself becoming really depressed and um, I had a lot of anxiety um, I would see people that I really care about friends of mine mutual friends arguing with each other a lot that caused me distress um, people talking ugly to each other, people spewing hatred towards each other. And I'm a sensitive person. I'm a Pisces and I am really emotional and I get really sensitive and I cry easily. And it just was really upsetting to me and it was bothering me. And here comes a motorcycle, hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. But so it was really upsetting to me to see all that and um, I just needed to step away from it. I had a negative experience. Today is Wednesday, the 3rd of June. I had a really negative experience on Monday on Facebook um, um, early in the day on Monday and I debated a lot over whether or not to get into that in this video and I have decided not to but um, I got my feelings really, really hurt. I feel like somebody misinterpreted um, something that I said and um, it just went from there. And it was really unfortunate. And it kind of um, put a, severed a tie with somebody that I care about very much. And um, per someone that I have spent time with in my life, someone that knows me personally, um, someone that I would consider a friend. And I thought I was a friend to them too. And it just, I think it's because emotions are so high right now that people are uh, upset and they're emotional. And sometimes when you're emotional, you don't think rationally, myself included. And I get really emotional and I don't like to be that person. I don't want to have um, arguing on my Facebook. I don't want to have drama on my Facebook. Um, and so I thought about it and I said, you know what? let's just de deactivate your account. I talked about it with Keith and I said, I'm thinking about doing that. What do you think about it? And he was worried about me. <clears throat> I don't remember his exact words, but basically he said he thought that was a good idea because, you know, he said I needed a break from it. I needed to step away from all of it. So 
I did decide to do that. And you know, it's like funny because today's only Wednesday and I already feel lighter. So from Monday afternoon until Wednesday, I already feel more at peace. I don't have upset stomach. That's one thing that really struck me. My stomach doesn't hurt. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I, my stomach has been aching from Facebook and, and it's not Facebook itself. It's me engaging in Facebook and I don't get involved in those like dramatic, uh, conversations. I don't get involved in arguments. I don't get involved in political discussions or anything like that because I don't want to use Facebook for that. That's not what I use it for, but I still see other people doing that. And it was affecting me. It was affecting my mental health. And I'm like, you know, I don't have to be on Facebook. I don't have to do that. I can talk to people that know me through Messenger. I can talk to them through email. I can talk to them through YouTube. I can talk to them on my Instagram. I don't have to use Facebook to do that. So I am missing my coloring groups already. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you when I do return to Facebook, which I have fully, I fully intend to return to Facebook. When I do, it'll be because of my Facebook groups, my coloring groups and my own group. And I, in that room leads me to something I want to say, if you are in my Facebook group, our sparkle spot, I apologize so much that I did not let you guys know that I was going to deactivate my account. I just did it. And then I thought, Oh crap, I didn't even put a note up in the in the group and people are probably going to be like what the heck could happen so i'm not like disbanding the group or anything like that i just deactivated because i needed a break um another thing i think about too is because um in may my father-in-law was in and out of the hospital quite a bit um i think probably he was in the hospital for uh at least uh half of the month maybe slightly more for the month of May and it was pretty serious. His conditions are pretty serious and it causes Keith to have a lot of worry about his dad. And I have a more important things to focus on in my life than drama on Facebook. <laughs> you know what I mean? And when I say that, I don't mean to diminish things that are happening in our society right now because they're very important and they, they, you know, I, 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 I recognize and I see the importance and the significance of things that are happening in our society. But I also see the importance and the significance of things that are happening in my little corner. And those things need my attention. And I pray a lot. I'm a praying person. And I pray, one of the things I pray about on a, on a daily basis is I ask the Lord to help me be a blessing to others. What can I do? Use me to be a blessing to others. And I can't be a blessing to anybody when I feel horrible myself. I can't be a blessing to anybody when I'm so depressed that I don't want to get out of bed, when I don't want to, when I'm not myself, when I don't even want to put my makeup on. And you guys know me, makeup makes me happy. It overjoys me. It gives me so much pleasure. And when I don't even want to put my makeup on, I don't want to wash my face. I don't want to take a shower. These are signs of depression. I, you know, I know depression. I've been through times in my life where I've had depression and I know signs of depression when I see it. And I could see that manifesting in myself. And I just need to be the best person I can be for my husband, for my mother, for my in-laws, for my family, and my friends. And I can't be that person if I'm allowing something to drag me down and make me upset and make me anxious and depress me. So for now, I pulled the plug on my Facebook. It's not deleted, it's just deactivated. Um, like I said, I know I will come back to it eventually. I did hit the seven day activation option, um, kind of as just a challenge to myself to see if I can break that addiction of checking it every day and looking at it every day. And um, so I guess it would be next Monday that it would be going back, but um, just because it is that coming back on that next Monday, I might deactivate it again or maybe by next week I'll feel like I'm in a place where I trust myself to just look at my coloring groups, my own group, touch base with my Avon people, and stay out of places where I don't feel like I should be, you know, uh, arguments, conversations that don't pertain to me, you know, things like that. We'll see. I don't know how it's going to go. But I just wanted to let everybody know that I had decided to do that because so many people do talk to me on Facebook and through Facebook and 
um, I didn't want anybody to think I was just like deserting my social media because that's not the case at all. I'm, I'm not doing that whatsoever. And in fact, I think that that not being on Facebook will help me um, focus more on my other forms of social media that I actually enjoy, which is YouTube and my Instagram. I really enjoy my YouTube. I, I do. I enjoy watching other people. I enjoy filming and doing my own content. And so, so I just think that maybe some time away from the yuckiness of one avenue of social media will open up time for another avenue of social media that I actually enjoy. So that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> I hope everybody's been doing good. I don't know what this was, if it was a vlog or just a whatever, but I just wanted to kind of explain what was going on and, and why, I, you know, uh, I knew it was so funny because I knew as soon as I deactivated it, I'm like, I got to tell certain people because if I don't, they'll notice right away and they'll be like, what's going on? And my friend Jill, she's one of my Avon friends. She called me within like, two hours you know and she's like are you in Facebook jail <laughs> and I said no no I'm not in Facebook jail that's just Keith if you hear that he's cleaning up our patio and getting it all spru spruced up for summer so but yeah I'm not in Facebook jail and I'm not uh, I'm not disappearing off the face of the earth or anything like that and there's other ways to contact me through you know, like I said, so you can email me, you can leave me a comment on face or um, YouTube, you can send me a message on Instagram. Um, and I still have my messenger is still um, available. So I didn't deactivate that. So um, absolutely, if you need to reach out to me, use one of those avenues. And I hope you guys understand. And I hope that you're doing well in your area of the world and managing to cope with all the chaos and strife that's going on right now and find um, some peace and just in your daily life, you know, that you're happy and healthy. So um, I will see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it.